Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo here doing your love reading for Sunday. This will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit the like, subscribe button if you enjoy this reading. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below uh, this video to get a personal reading. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site where I do 30 minute or one hour phone calls. All right, welcome, welcome. Let's get started. Take a look at your person's energy, the past, present, and future. And then we're gonna have a look at the love messages regarding each time period. Okay, so we do have on the board so far, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there is Libra and Scorpio, okay? Also uh, Taurus, Aquarius, and let's take a look here and see what the love messages are. The past energy, please, Spirit. What is the past energy, the past love messages for Virgo's person? Okay, they're popping out two here already. Unrequited love. Huh, true love. Okay, that's very conflicting. So um, it's like, I feel like in the past, your person felt like this was the romance of a lifetime, but something was missing in order to keep the relationship going in the past. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like your person spent a lot of time thinking about whether or not they were capable of making some kind of change um, to progress this relationship forward. There was an opportunity for things to turn around and move forward, okay? Um, there is true love. This was in the past. This person truly did have love for you, but with that Five of Cups, there feels like um, It, it could be like a sense of like, so the five of cups is like loss, regret, feeling abandoned or unloved. Um, I feel like your person uh, feels like you left them or abandoned the connection. Um, they feel a sense of loss. They feel a sense of being unloved. It's interesting. Let's take a look and see what this, um, Wheel of Fortune is here for. Oh, wow, King of Wands again. That's twice. Um, I feel like your person might have left you or left this relationship. Some, uh, there might have been a sense of like low self worth, it feels like. Um, or they spent more time thinking and less time acting. Okay. Um, but I do feel like there, there was a desire for change here or to turn things around. I don't know if you left the relationship and there's this, there, there's grief and, and a sense of feeling abandoned or they feel left out or lost um, or unloved. Huh, it's interesting. Okay, the Four of Cups here. And that is also a sense of like feeling unfulfilled. Hmm. I, I, you know, um, Virgo, it feels like this person did truly have deep love for you. Um, but the Four of Cups can be a card of emotional unavailability. I feel like your person really wanted to try to make something work, but they just may not have had the ability to uh, do it. There's depression and sadness. I don't know if they're feeling sorry for themselves. Okay, Queen of Swords here. Mm. Two of Swords. Stalemate. They may have communicated with you in the past that they know they need to make a decision, but they may have decided that it wasn't going to work out for them. Okay. Um, the Two of Swords, whether it's upright or reverse, is about compromising, making compromise. And I feel like sitting on the Five of Cups, your person um, 
chose not to move it forward. They did. They chose not to move something forward, even though you were their one and only true love. Okay. Um, but a decision, I feel like the compromise they made was for themselves. Um, that they, they had to stop it or stalemate it or they just couldn't decide. They were still thinking. They weren't sure. Okay. Um, you may have requested, infor like um, not information, but requested to find out what was going on or what the energy of the relationship was or could be or what could, if it was going to move forward or if they'd made a decision. And it feels like they may have just blocked in the past or just ghosted or just kind of like didn't make a decision or just went within. Or because there was a lack of something, you might have decided. Okay, so it could be reversed. It could go either way. But let's take a look at the present energy. Let your friends help you and free yourself. Okay. Um, hmm. This person is definitely going through some kind of transformation. Um, they may be trying to connect with someone else. Uh, seeking friends to help them um, maybe date again and that could be for some of you if you're like totally okay with the past situation just being done it wasn't going to work out it's a stalemate um, but for others I kind of feel like this person is seeking help to try to free themselves from their maybe depression could play a role why they weren't able to move something forward with you um, or to help them with the gr a grief or a loss all right let's take a look and see what this transformation here is what's going on here this person is taking back control of their life but they're asking for help from other people in order to do this okay Wow, transformation of the ego. This person, they feel like something is over here fully. Like they feel like it's done. They feel like it's over. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Because the Knight of Pentacles is usually a card of like someone who's reliable and patient and puts effort in, you know, Six of Wands. I do feel like they're going to try to bring this connection with you back into balance. They don't know how to do it. Maybe you left them and you ended it. And now they're talking to other people. They're asking what they need to do, how they need to bring this connection back into like a win-win solution. Because the Six of Wands is here and justice is all about win-win maybe it was a karmic relationship between you and this person and it wasn't meant to move forward but there's some truth coming out here with this person oh and the truth is about the three of pentacles so this is like coming back in and working together um having a quality relationship trying to make something work here with you will you want that i don't know you might be freeing yourself at this time like have or have freed yourself permanently let's take a look at the tower okay yeah six of swords making some kind of necessary transition facing their fears or travel okay i feel like your person might have just been very hesitant and was stalling um and maybe was not sure if there was enough attraction or chemistry to make this relationship work or if true love or love was enough to keep it going in the past. And it just feels like um, there was like a stop, halt to the relationship. It just didn't go anywhere. Stalemate. And if you walked away or you left this relationship and just, you know, just decided, you know, it's not that you don't love that person or you didn't, but it's just that 
there it just wasn't going to work there was not enough not even attraction or chemistry but you know um an ability to make it work or if this person was even fully willing to make it work there might have been a little bit of willingness and a, a little bit of motivation and you know um a, a little bit of uh capability but now it seems like they were fear-based or didn't think that they had it in them to give you what you wanted and now it feels to me like their friends are advising them to um, start from scratch um, maybe get some counseling or, or um, they're talking to people who have successful relationships like how do you do it how does it work that kind of thing because it feels like their ego got smashed and it had, has to be in a lot of ways um, because ego can be very negative as well you know people can be trapped in their ego in very negative ways it doesn't mean that they're overly confident they could also be extremely insecure either way it's always about them um you know, in that energy. So let's take a look at the future here. Pay attention to the red flags and romantic feelings. Okay. The signs are cautioning you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So the Ace of Cups is here with the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely going to be some initiation happening. Self, um, it's about the self, courage and willpower and actually making a choice here. Uh, weighing their options. I feel like your person still has romantic feelings and will still possess those feelings. I feel like they're definitely going in exploring their emotions and pay attention to the red flags. Kind of feels like they're looking now. This person may have just been someone who got into relationships without really being discerning about them and never paying attention to red flags in general. Okay. Um, but there's like a new beginning happening here. Okay, here's the Wheel of Fortune again. Yeah, this person's going to come back around and try to do it differently this time with you, Virgo. Oh, wow, the star. Okay, so the star can represent renewal and hope. And I feel like it could also represent someone being in the public eye. Um, I feel like this person is has faith that this connection can work out with you and is going to try. That It's almost as if the atmosphere is ripe to re-begin again or restart something here again um because i kind of feel like uh, e this person had you know the two of pentacles when it's in the reverse this is an inability to commit and i was saying that there was a like a struggle with that and this person um may not have had the ability really or like the other things i said like the ability the the willingness to go full forward or to be motivated i feel like that's changing now um let's take a look here yep and here's the death card again really making a huge transformation in uh like leaving all the past stuff behind okay these are big changes i think yesterday or the day before like there's big changes the energy is shifting and i'm not exactly sure where the placements of the planets are right now or what's going on because i don't usually follow that um i know some readers do and sometimes i'll know like when mercury is retrograde or where the moon is as of right now i don't know um but i'm sure that there is you know i do know pluto's been retrograde and that's having a deep profound effect on people because it's making people dive into their subconscious and taking a look at the changes that need to be made in their lives and i feel like going forward um, this energy is happening here for your person as well as it's happening for you too, Virgo, right? You got a lot of, um, a lot, of, everybody's got a lot of major shifts and truths coming out, <laughs> you know, their subconscious peeking out and saying, hey, this is really what's going on, right? So let's take a look and see what the love messages are here from this person for you. Um, I feel like your person just was e very easily manipulated by others and uh, never really paid attention to if they were abused by other people. Um, some of you might be going this through this too, like you're really paying attention to red flags in your life, you know, and not gaslighting yourself. And I feel like this person has a tendency to get involved in relationships that people can be abusive and yet they kind of have a little bit sometimes a doormat thing about them where they just 
allow it to happen and i feel like this person is no longer allowing that to happen and i'm not saying that you were abusive to them um because i'm not doing your reading but i feel like this is for the person you're connecting with but i do feel like now they're starting to take a look at why their relationships failed in the past because they let other people abuse them or somebody else let's take it the love messages okay financial challenges affect this relationship in some way okay especially for this person they also couldn't let you get close to them there was a struggle with that but being near you was intoxicating for them and that could have a lot to do with um the confusion is it love or is it lust with this person okay they hid who they really were from you um, this is a past life a love connection. So when you guys met, there was this feeling of, it feels like, wow, I've known you forever. It was there a familiarity to the connection. It's almost as if you, you, some of you may have even said when you first met, do I know you from somewhere? I've seen you before, something along those lines, or they may have said that to you. There was something about you or you look like somebody. Okay, let's see what else. I can't stop thinking about you. Um, and this person is trying to be completely open and honest with you going forward, or they will be becoming more vulnerable, which would represent the lover's card in a lot of ways. And an apology is coming here from this person, Virgo. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. I think it was because they were hiding themselves and they couldn't let you get close to them. Yeah, they couldn't tell you face to face some truths that they have. And I feel that the truth will start coming out now from this person. They're having some kind of a spiritual awakening or they're a wake up call of some sort. Um, they know it was their fault and they're sorry for blaming you um for why this connection didn't work out it had all to do with them and not nothing to do with you um let's see i didn't want to take from there okay fate this is a destined partnership um and of course as usual if you want to continue the relationship with this person you can if you don't want to you have free will and you could do whatever fits best for you or whatever your needs if your needs aren't getting met um, and you've been ex ex you've been specific with that person and told them what you needed, and they're still they weren't doing it, and they want to come back and try to do it again. That's great, but it's up to you if you want to go down that that road with this person again. All right, I'm gonna get two charms. All right, we've got kissy lips again here. The pink kissy lips. You might get a kissy lip text, or you send one to that person. Um, let's see what else do we have here? Okay, and we have a snowflake. All right, I'm just going to say this, and it probably isn't politically correct, but, you know, in this atmosphere, there are some people who are called snowflakes, right, in the political arena, right? And usually I think what that means is that someone is just very soft and maybe beta. Um, if it's a male, you could have been dealing with a beta male. Um, beta males are not aggressive. They're not, they're very kind and loving and um, patient and things like that, but they're not aggressive and they're not leader types. Um, so uh, I feel like this person has the ability or had the ability to lead, but they spent more time reflecting or they spent more time not really leading the connection. So I feel like snowflake, there could be some message or something you hear from this person or there's communication through text, um, sometime during a snowy season, okay, or wherever there's snow, um, some of you might have met this person or right now where you are, it's snowing. So <laughs> I don't know where you would be in the world, but it, it could be snowing somewhere. I feel like I want to just get one more. Okay, back with this Christmas tree again. Christmas, something, there's some something in Christmas around the holiday season. So um, sometime in uh, uh, December, there's going to be like a this person's going to try to make something work here again with you. And for some of you, um, you may, it may stir your romantic feelings for this person, but there may be red flags that you need to take a very strong look at 
okay and really take a look at your feelings as well if you want to reconnect with this i know some of you are going to post and say absolutely not that's been done a long time ago and it's over moving on but some of you you know this may not be the person that it's over with this could be somebody else before that or somebody after that um that you do think about from time to time um is it a new person there could be somebody new coming into your life around the holiday time. I will tell you that. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Taurus or a Leo. I will put that out there um, that where romantic feelings are there. But you, somebody here or you both need to be very discerning because I am seeing newness happening here in the future. So you may have, you know... There, you may get an apology from someone in the past, but there may be new love happening here um, sometime around in December, okay? So I'm going to leave that there for you, and hopefully you enjoyed that, and please do hit like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care.